Well, Output is back with a brand new update for Arcade. Version 2.2 is here, and it features a new arpeggiator function in the note kits. And this is not just any arpeggiator. This thing is super crazy and really powerful. So let's check it out. If you have a subscription with Arcade, you should have received an email with an update link. If not, just open Arcade and this little banner will pop up at the top and you can download the update free like that. If you're not yet a subscriber to Arcade, head down to the description and there's a link there where you can try Arcade free for a month. So let's go inside one of these note kits and let's take a look at how this arpeggiator works. The arpeggiator is located up here in the tweak button. Click on that and you will see that we have these different tabs. Layer edit, mixer, modulation, macros, and finally, the arpeggiator. And it's actually not even just one arpeggiator. It's actually three arpeggiators, which you can see over here on the left, A, B, and C. And these can be independently edited for creating like really cool complex rhythms. And then within each arpeggiator, you can create multiple sequences over here and these sequences can have different settings from one another so you can have like a moving set of four different sequences with different settings on each sequence inside each arpeggiator so this is like crazy amounts of complexity that you can create at the top of the window you have presets that you can choose which are all really cool. Below that, you can determine the rate of the arpeggiator and the amount of steps in the arpeggiator as well. And then you have these different lanes that can be independently edited. Volume, length, chord, octave, pan, and chance. To edit each lane, just click on the name of it or inside the window here, and then you can change the amount for each step like this. Now on the left side, underneath the name of each of these lanes, is a die and the die indicates the randomization function so if you click on that it will create a random pattern for that lane the bottom row chance is pretty cool this allows you to change the probability of randomness for each step if you hover near the top of each sequence you'll see this extra row pop up on the top these three dots allow you to copy and paste the sequence or delete the sequence then you have a single die randomizer and a multiple die randomizer. The single die will create randomness in the selected lane. So right now the open lane is this chance. You can see that it's wider than the others. So if I hit the die there, it will create randomness there. The multiple die will create randomness for all the lanes like that. And then this plus sign creates a new sequence at the end of the sequence. Again, each of these sequences can be independently edited. Then up at the top, you have this zoom bar so you can move in between your sequences like that with some left and right arrows that take you from the beginning to the end. And then on the left side, underneath the arpeggiator A, B, and C tabs, we have some global parameters for each of the arpeggiators. Volume, speed, repetition, swing. Each of these can be assigned to macros or to modulation. Totally wild. Then below that we have different arpeggiator types. So you can click on this and it opens up a new window and you can choose up, down, zigzag, and different arpeggiator types like that, or left and right buttons to scroll and test them out. Each of these arpeggiator layers has a power button, a solo button, and can be linked to the other arpeggiators. The pedal function changes how the arpeggiator type is played. So when it's off, it just plays in the sequence determined by the arpeggiator type. When pedal is set to low, the notes return down to the low note in between the sequence. And when it's set to high, it hits the high notes in between the sequence as well. And then at the bottom of the plugin window, we have even more global parameters here. Volume, length, chord, octave, panning, and chance. So these are applied to every parameter inside that ARP. So ARP A, the offset parameters here apply to ARP A. If I'm inside ARP B, these apply to ARP B. And then each of these offset parameters can be applied to macros as well. In other words, this new arpeggiator from Arcade 
is really cool. So great job output. This is crazy. I'm really excited to explore this more. Again, if you don't have a subscription to Arcade, I highly recommend you try it out. There's a link in the description, get a free month. If you do have Arcade, download the update, try out this arpeggiator and have some fun with it. Am I still streaming? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking right here. And this is a video that I made about Arcade 2.0 with the new note kits. That's a lot of fun. You should check that one out as well. Thanks so much. See you next time.